Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making this really cute flamingo wall hanging. Stay tuned. And don't forget to take a screenshot of today's project details. Now let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to be using three ply cotton for our filler cords. I think it gives an excellent texture. So let's attach it onto our wooden dowel by folding it in half. And then you grab the loop at the opposite end and you place it behind your wooden dowel. And we're going to attach it using a lark's head knot. So to tie a lark's head knot, you place the loop behind your wooden dowel and then you pull your tail ends through the loop. I'll do it again for you one more time, but if you're unfamiliar with your knots, feel free to check out my knot tutorial playlist. Or if you're a trooper, feel free to slow down this video by tapping the three dots on the top right corner. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and attach the rest of the 18 cords. Okay, now to start on our image. So each square represents a vertical double half hitch knot and the first row is all white. Okay, so grab a very long cord of our single strand cotton and place it behind our first two set of cords. Because we're working from left to right, our short tail end will be on the left and our loop will be on the right. So wrap your cord around the two strands and bring it through and then repeat the same process again. So you're going to wrap it twice and this forms a vertical double half hitch knot. Now the first knot always looks a little funny, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the second knot. So with your long piece of cord, you want to place it behind the next two set of strands. Then form a loop on your right, wrap your cord around and bring it through that loop. Pull your loop all the way up to the very top. And then we're going to repeat the same process one more time. So form a loop on your right, wrap your cord around and bring it through the loop. And that is how you tie a vertical double half hitch knot. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the row and then I'm going to show you what to do next. Once you have your first row completed, we're going to go back in the opposite direction. Okay, so let's do 10 more vertical double half hitches in white and then I'll show you how to switch over to pink. But first I'm going to show you how to go in reverse. So placing your cord behind the first two set of strands, you form a loop on your left this time and then you wrap your cord all the way around and through the loop. And then you repeat the same process twice. What helps me remember is that my cord and my loop are always on the side of the direction that we're going. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off these white vertical double half hitches in this row. And then I'm going to come back and show you how to swap out colors. Alrighty, so we did all the white in this row and now we're going to need to do three in pink. So for this project, I'm using pink t-shirt yarn, but feel free to use just regular single strand cotton in pink. I just happen to have a lot of this on hand, so that's what I'm using. Alrighty, so to change up colors, all you have to do is make another vertical double half hitch knot just like we did at the very start of this project. It's seriously that easy. But let me show you how to swap back to white in just a minute. Oh, and if you're interested in the t-shirt yarn, I'll leave a link in the description box where I purchased mine. Okay, so I'm just stuffing the smaller tail end up at the top just so that it's not confusing and it doesn't get in our way. So once you've completed all three of the pink knots, we need to switch back to white. To do this, all you have to do is grab your previous white strand of cord, place it behind your work and over top of your pink cord. Then all you have to do is carry on to the next two strands and continue tying your vertical double half hitch knots. So this is the basis of this entire project. We're only really tying one knot a whole bunch of times. And because they're such dense knots, they really use up a lot of cord. So you will eventually run out of cord, but all you have to do is just attach another one with a vertical double half hitch knot. It's really that easy. So I'm gonna speed this up and play a little montage of my progress, but stay tuned to the very end because I'm gonna show you how to clean up the back when we're done.
Gosh, that last knot is always so satisfying to watch. Okay, so once you're done admiring it for a second, now it's time to deal with the horrifying mess on the back. But luckily it is super easy to clean up. All I do is tie a couple of double overhand knots and then just snip off the excess cord. Now, if you were super professional about this, what you would do is weave in your ends and then snip it off and then put a backing on it. However, it is a bit more costly and time consuming to do that. Plus nobody looks at the back anyhow. To finish off this project, I'm gonna unravel the cotton cord and that just kind of gives it a really neat wavy texture. Then just give it a trim to make sure that the fringe is straight. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.